Well, Little Bird is an exciting new six-part original series that premieres tomorrow. So the show centers on an indigenous woman who was adopted into a Jewish family during the 60s scoop. That's a period during which First Nations children were abducted and then placed into foster homes before eventually being adopted out by predominantly non-indigenous families. Take a look. You can't just stick a new name on a person and pretend that nothing happened. And you can't take a five-year-old child away from their family and think that they're just going to forget. You should know. Have you forgotten your family that you lost? Whew, we are thrilled, yeah. We are thrilled to have some of the talent, phenomenal talent behind this incredible project. <laughs> Here with us today, please welcome stars Darla Contois, Lisa Edelstein, and showrunner Jennifer Podensky. Emotional. Um, Darla, I want to start with you. You're incredible in this role as Esther. You're a woman on a mission to uncover the truth and find her birth family. As an Indigenous woman and a mother yourself, like, what was it like entering into this role? I think from the get-go, just the opportunity to work with Jen Pademski and work with Elmaya Tilfeathers and Zoe Hopkins and all the incredible women that are involved, Lisa and Hannah Moscovich and... I think just that excitement overtook <laughs> I would, uh, a lot of my mental capacity until I read the scripts and I was like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. And I just felt so honored and so grateful that they chose me and thought that I could do this role so well. <laughs> You did. Indeed. Ooh, I'm still getting over the opening clip. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, Jennifer, you're the showrunner, and, and this series, obviously, it is compelling because it is based in the truths of thousands of people. And this is an opportunity in this series to reflect upon this difficult time in Canada's history, certainly. So, you know, do you hope that this series is going to lead to opening up more of those meaningful conversations? Absolutely. I think that it's it definitely is the beginning of a conversation that needs to happen. You know, we talk about it as a historical event, but it actually is still happening today. Um, our child welfare system is dominated by Indigenous kids, mm -hmm. and um, this is something that needs a bigger conversation because conversations lead to systemic change, and systemic change, you know, leads to fewer disproportionate numbers across the board for Indigenous people. So. Mm -hmm. Yes to everything. Yes. <laughs> uh, Lisa, you play Esther's adoptive mother, a Holocaust survivor who lost her family in Auschwitz. So talk about, I just there's a piece of this history that you connected to. So was that part of what drew you to this part? For sure. Yeah. Um, I think that Esther, uh, sorry, Golda's, the existence of Golda as a character in this story is a, a vehicle for audience members who are not Indigenous to kind of go through the process of acknowledging this history um, and breaking through the defensiveness that might happen um, along the way. For Golda, she really thought she was doing a good deed, yeah. um, but was actually complicit in a very cynical system. Um, and because of her own personal loss and trauma, uh, I think she was able to, to move through it and be there for her daughter mm -hmm. in a way that uh, was very special. And I think that's why she wanted to have a daughter like Esther, somebody who might share in that feeling of, of loss uh, and, and bond with her, mm -hmm. create new family. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, you know, the show, it features a largely Indigenous cast and crew, so in front of the camera, behind the camera, also a lot of training opportunities for emerging Indigenous artists and creators as well. Darla, what was it like for you to walk into a set that, let, let's be honest, still in 2023, that is a rarity. You know what's so funny is this is my first major production in <laughs> film and TV. So this is my only experience. Wow. And I actually got really emotional at the conference that we did because Jennifer, I learned, curated those moments of me arriving on set and meeting with an Indigenous crew member. And uh, she had a trauma therapist on set. We had medicine bundles on set. Uh, and that's all thanks to Jennifer and the incredible care and support that she put into creating Little Bird and, you know, taking care of all of us. Yeah. 
Can we talk to you about that, Jennifer? You were clearly extremely <laughs> intentional. <laughs> I know. Um, intentional with creating that very safe space. So why did you choose to do it that way? What was the full intent? I think safe spaces are hard to come by in this industry uh, for Indigenous people, Indigenous women especially, and women specifically. Um, we often walk into spaces like film sets and feel like really um, alone and feel, you know, sometimes abused or spoken down to as subordinated. And I just didn't want that to be this experience mm -hmm. because it was so traumatic to create this show. And I knew that it would be triply traumatic to perform it. So we really wanted to make sure that we had that support for everybody. But and I know that she's a very expansive producer. Like she made sure that not only was she creating change with the content, that she was creating change on set. Mm. She said it better. Systemic. Systemic. <laughs> uh, so Jennifer, actually gonna ask you, but there's a special companion documentary that goes along mm. with the series and it is so important. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it in the interviews. Yeah, so that was, you know, I was inspired by um, Unorthodox, the series Unorthodox that also had a companion documentary. Um, it was more of a behind the scenes experience, but I really thought it would be so awesome to go deeper into the conversation um, about survivors experience and you know, it's not really about the Jewish indigenous intersection at all. It's more like uncovering um, 60 Scoop experience and a little bit more about the local communities that we were working with, Sioux Valley, Dakota Nation and Broken Head. So it's um, using Little Bird as the expression or the doorway into that conversation. And that will air later after the show. Um, but it is important because it, it's just, as I said, as you said, an opening, a beginning of a conversation. Yeah. You know, uh, this is just a little taste. We wish we had so much more time with all of you, but this is, I think, why having you here is so important because that opening clip, I think, grabbed a lot of our hearts and souls, and that's why people need to watch. So congratulations, mm -hmm. truly, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay, this is the really, 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 really important part, okay? Listen closely. Little Bird premieres on Crave tomorrow. Are you gonna watch? Yeah. Yes. Please, please, please check it out. We're going to take a very quick break. We got more of the social coming up next. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.